Last week, I had to update and revise this promo marketing corporate video thing that I made two or three years ago. I mean, I haven't touched this thing since early 2014. Uh, it has hundreds of different comps and it pulls media from dozens of different projects. And you would think that jumping into this project, it would be a nightmare that I'd open it up and half my media would be offline and that I wouldn't know how this pre-comp worked within this pre-comp to go over here in that comp. Um, you, you would think that I'd just be sitting here pulling my hair out. But you know what? It wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare at all. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Media management. Repeat after me. Media management. You can know every tip, trick, and shortcut in the book, and if you know me, you know how much I love shortcuts. But if, if you are not using proper media management techniques, then you're making yourself a slower editor and you could be costing yourself thousands of dollars each year. So what do I mean by media management? There are two fronts when uh, we're talking about media management. First is inside your software, inside your NLE, and second is on your hard drive. Inside each software, each NLE, uh, Media Composer, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, After Effects, you need a consistent workflow. This workflow needs to be standardized for ingesting media, uh, labeling files and sequences, uh, how your bins and folders are laid out in the software, uh, etc. If you have everything organized into a system that you understand, uh, it'll pay out 100x to uh, the time and, and effort you put in for each individual file that you keep organized in your system. All of this is what I consider media management. Figuring all this out isn't easy to do, and it does take a while. But over the course of, let's say, a year, you should be able to tackle enough projects to get a rough baseline down uh, for how you work inside of each project. Take that baseline and iterate as needed, um, but once you get it down, uh, you'll know exactly how everything works together no matter which project you open up. So for me, uh, for example, uh, I have my specific workflow for how my comps and pre-comps are labeled and inserted into one another in After Effects. I know why I put something in a pre-comp and where to find it and how to change whatever's inside there when that time comes when uh, two years down the road I need to jump into that project uh, and change a title or change the color of somebody's shirt or whatever. Uh, this saves me hours each week and it saves me days each year. The other part of media management is on the hard drive level or on your computer outside of the NLE. So with uh, software like Premiere Pro or After Effects or if you are AMAing a clip in Media Composer, uh, if you change one little thing along the way to a file, uh, it's going to get knocked offline. And when your video is due at the end of the day, uh, you can't spend an hour searching down different clips on four different hard drives uh, because you don't know where anything is or because, uh, you know, something changed along the way and you just don't know. Having proper and good media management will prevent situations like this. For me, I have a folder called Project Elements on the root level of my hard drive. Inside that Project Elements folder is a folder for each individual project, Project A, Project B, Project C. Inside of Project A, Project B, Project C, and all the rest of them, I have the exact same folder layout for each project. It uh, is 01 underscore After Effects, 02 underscore Audio, 03 underscore Graphic Elements, 04 underscore Video, 05 underscore Documents. And Pretty much, I will use some or all of those folders for every single project, and I really don't know of any scenario where I need an 06 folder for something else. Pretty much anything that I do when I'm creating a video should fit into one of those five folders. So what that means is that every single time uh, I have a project, new or old, I know exactly where to find files and exactly where files should go. I've talked about how having proper media management saves you time, but it also saves you money when you value your time as money as I believe that you should. The faster you can churn out a project, 
the more projects you can complete, and the more money you can make. Saving just a few minutes on every single project adds up, uh, and you're able to edit more videos, or you just have more time to spend doing whatever it is that you want to do when you finally get up and leave the dark and lonely editing bay. To sum up, media management is one of the most important things you need to focus on. Having a proper and consistent workflow will make you a faster and better video editor. So there's more on media management coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, until then, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Uh, and if you know an editor uh, who could benefit from this video, could you please send it over to him or her? Thank you so much. Uh, I've been Josh Short from Edit Video Faster, and I will see you soon.